Ah, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yes, family, these are the words that were used to describe this time that we had with the Farmer family, GT Musketeers, and we were joined by Sandy from Sandy Backyard Kitchen, and we had an awesome time cooking, relaxing, and just enjoying each other's company, and we had some great food that we prepared. Check it out, guys. Continue watching. We'll share this meal with you. We had all kinds of good stuff here. Duck curry. I had made my Spanish arroz con pollo. Y gandules. We had dal and rice. Baked. Thank you for joining us. It's Caribbean Ducks. And I have another wonderful recipe to share with you guys. So continue to watch. I'm gonna share how I make my Spanish arroz con pollo y gandules. First, we're gonna prepare our chicken, wash, clean, trim, and I'm going in with a lavish amount of my Caribbean green seasoning here. I'm gonna marinate everything in here and leave it overnight so I can take it to these wonderful folks and we're gonna have a nice cookout So my green seasoning has got everything inside. Onion, garlic, pepper, thyme, scallions, you name it, it's in there. I have basil, celery, black pepper, everything. So next ingredients that we're going in with here is cilantro, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, onion, garlic, tomatoes, and this is to make the sofrito. So a nice big bundle of cilantro, we're just gonna finely chop. This is a simple recipe, but very tasty and flavorful. This is how I do it, guys. This is how I make my Spanish rice, arroz con pollo y gandules. That's chicken and rice with peas, pigeon peas. Now that I'm getting all my onions and tomatoes and bell peppers chopped. You can use a food processor to chop everything up into small pieces as well. I just find it satisfying to use my hands and cut everything because I can control the sizes. Now I'm gonna go in with a full knot of garlic. I'm just gonna smash them so they come out of the shell easily. And now I'm gonna crush that entire knot of garlic. And we're building up the flavors here for the sofrito. The seasoning are very simple, but the taste and the complexity of everything just blends everything together and bring this dish so wonderful. So if you're gonna make this recipe, make sure to follow every step. And of course, we gotta have some hot peppers. These are some bandanya, shadow benny, or culantro as we know it as. And some nice hot peppers. The peppers that we're going to use for this recipe here is some Trinidadian hot pepper and one scotch bonnet. This is the Trinidadian pimento pepper, very flavorful, not super hot, but very flavorful. But to spice it up a little bit more, we're going in with one scotch bonnet pepper. So folks, this is sofritos. Almost look like a green salad ready to eat. Lots of flavor in there. So this recipe calls for some olives. And these are the only olives that I got here. 
And I have a little bit of the Spanish olives that's stuffed already. So I'm just gonna slice it up here. We're gonna need about maybe a half a cup to a cup of olives. And here's one of my secret ingredients here. This is my annatto oil. This recipe calls for saffron, but I believe annatto oil is so much better and much more flavorful. So rich and vibrant in color. And now we're back on the road. We're going to visit our friends, GT Musketeers at their farm. And guys, this guy is an amazing farmer. He's so good at what he does, at planting his stuff and farming. Here he's got sugar canes, papayas. He's got okra, bora, corella. He's mastered the art of gardening, folks. Even though it's winter time, his garden is still thriving and coming. So he's gotten an early start on his garden. He's a little bit shy of one acre of property. But he did an amazing job of farming this area. And pretty soon, he's got a surprise for us. He's planning on extending his farm to a few more acres at a different location. And his plans are to supply West Indian fruits and groceries and vegetables to everyone in the area. I'll make sure to leave a link with all his information. Like a quarter acre, man. No, all together. Oh, and half I, acre, yeah. With your house and everything. That's not bigger than a half acre, man. You got to check me out when this mango beer, man. This is the best I ever get. What I, kind of mango is I that? I don't know. My wife got it from a Chinese lady where she was working in a hotel. I don't know if you from China or what, man. He grew big as this, and the seed thin as this. Man, that mm -hmm. thing is so sweet. Ah, that's probably called a nam duck. I don't know what kind of mango is it, man, but the best me ever. You see them here. back from the Yeah. You see them dongs right there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got a lot. Yeah. Mine's been falling off. I don't know why. I think I got to mulch yeah. my plant somewhere. Yeah, you got to do that. I'm going to buy a piece of pumpkin and take out the seed and leave it to me. I'm um, falling on the pumpkin and bring the seed. And you got a seed now. Yeah, so it was growing and just threw a couple of seed, three, like three root here. But the coal, you know the coal front me come a couple of days? Yeah. But I, I got to get some pumpkin here. You see them? Yeah, so you got some. I hope they're ripe out by the time the coal come. See, I have a problem with, yeah. with these stuff, this is, man. This is where you see in Queens, you know, in big flag pumpkin. Uh, yes, Queens, uh, in the market. In the market. Yeah. Got a pumpkin too. You think it's Mexico you come from, right? But I got a problem with bugs and things, but I never really like to spray. We got spray in and out not too often, but I don't like to. All right. That's a real, real, real hot, man. That's the Guyana weary, right? Yeah. That's the one. My wife is a pep. I put them right here. Man, I think like crazy. My wife is a pepper mouth boy. And she could really eat the pepper. She used to be close to the house because I know when to them. Yeah. Because uh, when I cook here, I come out and pick them through the main pot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Tell me about I used to plant this back. Wow, home. look at the size of that thing, man. Man, the first picking I picked was huge. How you know when to pick them? Look it's it's ready now. Mm -hmm. oh, so you guys start picking. Because once I get a length already, you're almost full. You see, like that, I must have picked because nice and young. Yes, you know? I see. You got some big ones here, too. Look, all this, all this can pick. You see, right here? All this, see. Oh, so you guys start you picking know? these things, man? You pick and sell to the store, too. Yeah. Yeah, this week, you pick some. All right. A whole two box. Man, I like what you got going on here. Yeah. This is what I'm going to plant. This tree grow by maybe itself there, and I just take care of it. Look at that. This is the one that I'm picking them up. Alright, we're ready. I picked box by box already. See? Yeah. Because I'll call them to come everything on them. And then you gotta grow back for next season? Yeah, but I don't. This thing don't give me whatever already. Well, whatever you do in the soil is rich over that here. Thing, that thing don't already. Yeah, look at the size. I want to show the size of that thing. That, 
You want to pick it? Yeah, pick. Just hold up. See? Roll it up like this? Yeah. What the size of that thing? <laughs> but you want to keep it for seed. You know? Yeah. I'll keep them for seed because they're on different variety than this one. Mm -hmm. And it's grow a little broad as this. Hey guys, today we're at the GT Musketeer farm. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Farmer's just cut some fresh tilapia. Fresh tilapia, here. man. Fresh tilapia. But we're gonna cut up some tilapia we're now. Take the heads off, so we're gonna do some frying. You know? So in a little bit, I'm gonna show you Mr. Farmer's farm. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna tell us about his plan for the mm -hmm. future. Yes. He's planning to provide food, West Indian food, Caribbean, Guyanese style food, mm -hmm. fruits and vegetables soon, sugar cane juice. We're mm -hmm. gonna show you around the yard and show you Mr. Farmer's skills. So keep watching guys. We're here with All Guyanese products, man. I'm gonna produce all Guyanese products right here in Southwest Florida, right here. So you don't have to go back to Guyana and get stuff. We have it right here, grown in Florida. Original Guyanese. Original stuff. Guyanese, border market style. Guys, I can't wait to start <laughs> showing you these stuff. He's got Bora, long Bora, yard long Bora. He's got some incredible bigan. I never seen this big. Karyla, I never seen so huge. I'm gonna get to show you guys around in a little bit as soon as he's finished cutting up here. And we're getting ready to do a cookout here. And we're gonna be joined by Sandy from Sandy's Backyard Kitchen as well. Want one, yeah, right there. There you go. Slow it down. There you go. We'll start with some infused, herb infused olive oil. So guys, my oil is hot and nice. And let me get ready to put my chicken into the hot oil. Hey! Surprise! Surprise, guy! Hello! Hey! Hey, look who's here! Watch Johnny, you know, no, where is your face better? I think this side. Chicken is braised nicely. Okay, ready? And you have a lighting on it on. You just gotta light it with the oh, yeah, match or something. So now that our chicken is lightly fried and braised, we're gonna remove it and set it to side also so now he's um he's cooking some amazing food here and and today i'm also cooking some curry duck curry and um so i'll be going next okay i still have to get my can and so ready we just got here he was here he got here before we so uh, i know this uh, duck, i know this duck curry is gonna be good i watched sandy roast that duck <laughs> and season it you've seen that for a couple of days now right no no i actually did this last night so that's gonna be really good. Yeah. All that seasoning went right up in there. Mm-hmm. And this is just this is the American dog. I got it from um um the organic natural dog from um uh, Publix. Because you know by my area we don't have the yard right. dog or, or so you know. So okay. check out this chicken guys. Um GT girl is inside her name is GT Musketeer. GT in the meanwhile, I'm gonna allow my sofritos to cook and steam and get ready for the next ingredients. 
we just got to keep it stirring to make sure that it doesn't burn as we're cooking on some high flames here. Now I'm going in with my celery and mix that in as well. Yes, guys, this dish is going to be so flavorful and tasty. Oh my god, you have so much pumpkin. I'm going crazy, okay? Some of you are saying, oh, I'm like never too come to see. I am never too come to see. I love this. I'm a plant by person, by nature, and I love every plant. Yeah, but and the farmer does for the seed of the earth. That's what he says. Yes. That's what he says. And this pumpkin, I, I'm seeing it from here. I haven't seen it in the uh, yet. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, now that the sofrito has been cooking for a while, it's been about five minutes, we're going in with a cup and a half of tomato puree. And we're just going to mix everything together and add to the layers of flavor here. What's going to happen here, the bottom of the pot is going to deglaze and all that extra flavor is just going to be infused here. As we go along with the rest of the ingredients, I just want to add that the GD Musketeer family are absolutely awesome. They are warm, welcoming family. That's just down to earth and great people. They have a lot going on. Besides the farm, they're getting ready to start out with their restaurant business. So we'll have more information on that coming up soon. Now this time I want to go in with my washed rice. I have about two and a half cups here of washed basmati rice. We're just going to add that in. And blend everything up together here. Give it a good mix. Allow everything to be absorbed into the rice. We're not done here yet, folks. We still got a little bit more stuff to add to those flavors. So continue to watch as we go along. We're making Spanish rice here, folks. Check it out. And now we're going to continue to blend everything together. And make sure everything is distributed well in the pot. And now for our natto oil. This is going to add lots of flavor and the nice vibrant color that we achieve here. That's what we get from the natto oil. That was about three tablespoons of anato oil. And we're just gonna continue to blend everything together. Yes, folks, while I'm cooking my pot on one side, Sandy from Sandy Backyard Kitchen is preparing hot duck curry. Now we're going with our olives. This is about a cup of olives that we chopped up here. That gets added. And now we're going in with our pigeon peas. This is about two cups of pigeon peas. I'll go and do this. And that gets mixed in as well. Yes, guys, this is the Spanish version of cook up rice or pilau. 
This is the Spanish version of Spanish rice. A lot of flavor going on here. Now we're going to add about maybe four cups of water. Or just enough water to cover the rice so that it can cook slowly. We're going to bring it up to a little boil. And then we're going to cut the heat off. Now we're going in with some dry ingredients here. These are pepper, thyme, salt. And we're going to give it a good mix again. Now I've pre-measured out all my ingredients and I had them in those little containers so I can travel with them. So I know the exact amount of everything that I'm using. I don't know if you guys are able to see the rich color of this pot. I'm going in with a bit more water because I want to make sure that the water covers the rice so that it could cook slowly. And that's about enough water that we're gonna add here. As soon as this pot start bubbling up, we're gonna cut the heat down. Here we go, we add our chicken back to the pot. Now I'm going to put a lid on and allow this to come back up to temperature. In the meanwhile, I'm going to get some fresh weary pepper from right off of the farmer's tree. So let's come here and see what these guys are doing. Getting the fresh pepper right, the fresh the pepper right off of the tree, guys. guys. Yeah, check that out. Sunny, So now I'm gonna add our weary peppers to the pot. I'm just only gonna do four weary peppers just for added flavor. I'm not making it too hot, but just flavorful because I'm not sure if the folks will be able to handle the heat. Mr. Farmer gonna do a little chemistry with some little vodka and this huh? raw honey. Make sure it get better. One of them's gonna work. Yes. <laughs> okay. I got a sore throat too. No, yeah, I, th I think we, we all have sore throats over here. Everybody's got a It's been about 25 minutes of cooking on slow heat. And now I'm going to show you a little trick here how to get the most fluffiest rice is to trap that steam underneath the lid. So I'm going to use some tin foil here just to go right under the lid and make that seal so we could trap the steam and that would allow the rice to be nice and fluffy once you create that Maybe steam in orlando fort lauderdale anywhere in florida when i establish i want to supply you all guyanese stuff balanje squash pumpkin long i mean gora and then um, okra everything that you have in guyana I could supply it right here in Southwest Florida and the entire Florida. I, guess. I, I know what, I'll be driving here. This is about yeah. two hours and 45 minutes away from where I live. I'll be driving here and get my monthly supplies. Exactly. Because you know it's organic, yeah. you know you, it's, it's real, and mm -hmm. it's, it's um, planted with love. I want that in my belly. And it's Guyanese taste. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. We'll get Sandy Bread and John and come raise in Florida. Florida. guys. Yeah, they can come down to help pick. I'm glad. Yes. I'm happy to be a part of this. Guy and Sandy too. Team. All of them, yeah. all the bloggers are coming yeah, and out. And I'll do my Farmer. best to help mm -hmm. spread the word. You Guyanese, you get a taste right now when Mr. Farmer established very soon next year. So you can pick it up in any Caribbean in supermarket in Orlando, Fort Lauderdale. And right here in Southwest Florida. We have a roti shop in Fort, in Fort Myers there on US 41. I know them just started that a month ago. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? I thought so when she told me, we're I was trying so to, proud. We're trying to meet the Guyanese needs right now. And the, and and the, the habits. And the West Indian And the needs, West you know? Indian taste. And it's an only road to shop in Fort you know? Myers. So I look forward for you all. Just keep your finger crossed. We coming up very, very soon. You As a farmer, yeah. you might want to let these folks know too that 
some of your plants are original plants from back home. Oh you yes, you brought the seeds. That's, oh, yes. that's my original yes. stuff because yes. I was a really a big farmer back home, so I take some of my original stuff here. So, so you're from Lenora also? No, I'm from, I'm from Quarantine. And she's from Lenora. Lenora. So and it's a, he's got lots of. So lots the east meet the west. <laughs> Lots of years on your belt. East meet the West family. there, and we combine and make a good family. Good, awesome, awesome. Really, Mr. Farmer? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm from the East, and she from the West. East meets West. Hey, meet listen. The West. So that's what's good. That's the right? I love it. Hey, yeah. okay, listen, opposite attracts. So the yes, sun, yes, the sun yes, rise yes, from yes. the East, and it's down in the West. And Does anybody hear what your friend saying? Oh How yeah. you reach at Siri? Which side? East, West, North, and South? Yeah. <laughs> Later on, we're going to introduce you with the, with, in the farm yes. with all my stuff, my bygan or balanje or eggplant, what you call it. So, mm -hmm. and we have some pumpkin, we throw some seed there. We have some pumpkin there, probably we're going to introduce that to you all. Later on, I can see the pumpkin from here. I haven't gone in this garden yet, and cook. they are huge. Yeah. So, I'm so excited. Yeah, guys, yeah. we're going to follow our belly. I'm course, behind Sandy we'll here, Doc Curry. It's smelling so great. <laughs> I, I feel like to eat a piece right now, <laughs> but it's not finished. No, <laughs> it's a pharmacy. You don't like Doc. Don't oh, like for well, him. I, it, seems, it seems really attractive now, probably. I'm going to taste a piece. <laughs> And you smell this? Yeah, I smell that. They are sandy. And then we sandy. have two, two of sandy and our uh, and viewers here. Of course, here. me. <laughs> hey, two where are we, John? Um, He's watching next week. Oh, okay, that's what you're doing. Yeah, 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 that was oh, 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 oh my god, look at this. Can you give it a taste? See if we have enough salt. The pot is full, guys. Hello. All right, no let's taste. Ah, oh, amazing, 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 amazing. Does he have enough salt? A little more salt. Okay, good. Good. It's good. I love it. I never eat this before. Awesome. Turning the Spanish rice that Sandeep cooked from Caribbean duck. Oh my God, look at this. It's something wow, this different. Could feed the whole place, Andy. Well, I hope everybody <laughs> come with the appetite. Yes. <laughs> I'm peeling the potatoes. Yeah. That's a lot of food. I know. I... Well, I hope the family come with a uh, appetite. You could be like take away, guys. So you need to do that with done or you just you have like a little more steam? I'm going to cut it off and let it steam, steam with itself. the okay. residual yeah. heat. All right, sounds good. All right, good. let it steam. Oh, yeah, you got Yeah, cover that baby cover down. Up. Sandy. Yeah, this is how I do it back home, you know. Here what? you go. Come on, Sandy, come yeah, on and get a coconut. Turn this way. Here you go. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Picture, picture. Cheers. Tom, you need one? Doesn't get fresher than this, guys. You can't. So. This is not fresh. This is freshness. <laughs> this is not fresh. It's freshness. Freshness. Yeah. freshness. Oh, you talk. Yeah, yeah. Hey, come on down and check out Mr. Farmer. Come on down and check out Mr. Farmer. He will be open a coconut farm like Rooster in Guyana. <laughs> All right. That's my boy, Rooster. Rooster. I've been Rooster here. <laughs> you're the southwest rooster. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the Yoda for man coming. You want some? <laughs> you want some? So mm. yum, yum, yum. Sweet. Sweet. So he's bringing some scallions or chives. Look at that. Oh gosh, this looks so yummy. This is like Mariani, but Spanish style. You know? Right. Same concept, how you cook the chicken and the rice and so together. Almost, but biryani has turmeric and curry. So. That's what I'm saying. It's like different spices, but the same concept with the meat and the food and so together. Right. And uh, check out the yeah, phone is still on. Yeah. You guys, check out the curry, the curry. Ooh wee. Oh, guys, easy. I just had a taste of this, man. It's tasty. We just got a new vlogger in town that's joining us. Tell us who you are, man. Hi, I'm Techie Homesteader. Techie Homesteader. We're going to check you out some more, buddy. I did see you, and I'm going to look at you a little bit more. 
Yeah, and you you're here with your that. wife and your little cutie pie here. I also have a YouTube channel. You tell us about it. So, my name's. So my YouTube channel's name is Rosie Dozy. It's spelled R O S E Y. Then Dozy D O S E Y. And what is it about? So it's literally me playing video games. Awesome. Okay, say hi, Canada. Hi, guys. Hi, Canada. Hi, hey, Godfrey. Godfrey. Oh, look. Yeah. Hello. We have another. Oh. Yeah. That's my brother in law. Yeah. Oh, that's my brother. Okay, okay. Your brother. Okay. That's your brother. That's your brother. Hey. Hey, how you doing? So <coughs> I just want to be. I want to be able to say that I'm thankful to be part of this Caribbean community and add and contribute to my part. We're trying to upkeep and build a community here, a Caribbean community, and grow this. So we want to share. We take share pleasure in doing this for you guys, for your entertainment, and to educate and spread the joy. Sandy, what do you have to say about yeah. that? I'm so happy to be here. Oh my goodness. There's nothing. I agree 100% of what you're saying. Um, this is what food and culture and family and friends is about. It's bringing people together. It's bringing culture together, bringing, bringing smiles together. And this is what we were made for. Human beings were made to be together, not to be separated, but to be together. That's what makes us the best people that we can be, is when we're together, sharing food, sharing laughters and cultures and recipes and with Caribbean dog he has amazing uh, multicultural recipes and we have a farmer and also who produce have, this stuff yes mm. who produce all the stuff from to the bring ground it into the plate from the ground to the plate. To the plate. And we have drew she's talking to her family and friends and so on over there gt musketeers yes gt musketeers she made the balanje choka eggplant bygan choka dal and rice and dal and rice and um, Sandeep made um, a roast con pollo y gandules. A roast con pollo y gandules. You see, I get Ooh. it. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> how are you? How are you, buddy? Hi, Techie Homestead here, too. Look, check, check this out, guys. Look at this guy. Uh, look, nice. look at that. That looks like mm -hmm. how it's supposed to be. Yeah, Lenora. So this is yes. Lenora Dal. Lenora produced. Oh, listen. This is Lenora Dal, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not Barbies. He's not Barbies. Barbies. We are very much tilapia from farmers. Right and here. And prepare it real golden cripsy. You know? <laughs> Some potatoes mm. for like Tommy and Johnny. Mm -hmm. They love the potatoes. Yep. Man, that's and we cook watering. It a watering. We, we cook it a little dry because yeah, um, we have some dal. We have to dal, yes. Did you just pick all that from this tree? Johnny Juggalo, show them how big your brain is. Oh, I'm running. Oh my God, he has no yeah. Is that what they call chow rai, right? Yes. You can take them. I cook yeah. it too. Yeah. So Look at the next tree right here. It's so Look all over here. There's another one there. This one's great. Your dad used to use him? No, use a machete like him. Oh, yeah. I do it like him. Yeah. 
There you go, man. Just take practice, okay? Push, push. The more you do, better you get. Push, push. No one wants to try. You want to try? Okay. There's no other way to enjoy it more than this. Yeah, I know. Peace. Yeah. You go take the top of it, the top of the cane, right? That I throw it here, uh -huh. cut it, and put it in the ground. Okay, that's how you go. That's so much more pieces. That's how you do it. Right? Fresh cane juice. <laughs>